Hi, I'm Kevin Corkin, District Executive of the Hiawatha Land District. And today we're here at the beautiful Camp Hiawatha, right on the sandy shores of Bunting Lake. And uh, we're here to uh, give you a little snippet of delivering the promise. Uh, about uh, We really want to deliver the promise and get kids to camp. Uh, and I thought it would be a great day today to reveal that because uh, we had about 60 scouts, uh, new, brand new Cub Scouts that just joined this fall here at Camp Hiawatha today, having a lot of fun uh, on our archery range, uh, playing uh, games with some of our staff, doing crafts, and uh, learning about fire building and having fun eating s'mores. Uh, so I thought it'd be a great day to uh, deliver the promise and uh, share a little uh, story about myself uh, that many of uh, you may have not heard or know about, uh, but I actually quit scouting. Uh, it's actually a fact. Uh, not too many people know that fact that I quit scouting and it would probably be shocked today to find out uh, being that I worked for the Boy Scouts and I'm an Eagle Scout that at one point I quit scouting and uh, a little bit why I quit scouting was I joined like many of our scouts did this fall as a Tiger Scout you know I heard uh, either professional or a volunteer came in talked about all the fun things you get to do in scouting like shooting BB guns shooting arrows uh, going to camp and those were things I didn't get to do as a tiger or a wolf. And talking to my friends, you know, we didn't get to go to camp. And uh, their older brothers didn't go to camp. And hearing that kind of disappointed me. So I actually quit scouting and never was a bear scout. Uh, but then the next year, uh, same guy came in, uh, talked about all the, you know, going to camp, shooting BB guns, uh, shooting bows and arrows. And uh, the kids that stayed in scouting talked about how they actually went and got to do these things at summer camp, uh, Camp Rokalaya. And so I heard about that and actually rejoined scouting as a Weeblo. And uh, that, luckily that summer, we went to camp and got to do all those fun things. And I stayed in scouting ever since then, going on to earn my Evo. Uh, so it's just a little story about how we really want to deliver the promise and get as many kids to camp as we can uh, at this beautiful camp here. I know it's the fall and we're not in that summer camp mindset, but it's a perfect time to start thinking about camp as we're selling popcorn and helping raise money uh, for the pack to get the kids to camp. Uh, it's also, you know, starting to look at calendars for next year with a lot of families and vacation time. Uh, it's a perfect time to, you know, start asking off for work for next summer uh, to come to camp. Uh, so we want to invite all you parents to come on out. I think sometimes the parents have uh, more fun than the kids here at camp. And we got a great theme uh, here at Camp Hiawatha, a uh, very good piratey theme. Uh, so I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. And if you can't make it to camp, uh, it's always the first week in August uh, here at Camp Hiawatha. We also have Camp Twin Lakes and Camp Rokalayo down in Wisconsin that have uh, 19 different sessions to choose from, uh, from June through uh, mid-August. So there's lots of opportunities to go to camp uh, if the August schedule doesn't work for you. And we really want to deliver that promise to our kids. Uh, as I said, a lot of us uh, volunteers and professionals have gone out to schools, told kids about the fun things they can do in scouting. And now it's your job to help get them to camp as parents and as leaders. And uh, hopefully we'll see you here uh, next summer in uh, 2016 uh, with many more scouts uh, in your pack. So uh, thanks for uh, helping us deliver the promise.